These dolls are part of a grand plan to spark an industrial revolution in Africa where girls and women play a more significant role. Kabi, the scientists, and her friends are characters created to inspire girls' interest in technology, travel, literature, manufacturing, and farming, areas considered by many as a reserve for boys. And she's got Wabi, who is into reading and writing. And then we've also got Tandi, who is a, a creative into the arts and drama. Kabi was a character created by Kenyan entrepreneur Shiro Wawere Waithaka, the founder and CEO of Fun Kids Group, which manufactures African-inspired educational and functional children's products. Around the world, children industries are in the billions of dollars. But here, for some reason, we don't see the importance of investing in our children. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about inspiring them. At the Fun Kids factory on the outskirts of Nairobi, she works with a team of 20 engineers and craftsmen to produce items using computer-run machines that can cut and print designs to quality and precision. To me, I find that a tragedy that 90% of the items in your home are made in other countries. Good for them. But it's time we had a wake-up call and say, actually, how come we don't make this stuff? Some retailers refuse to tell their customers that Fun Kids Furniture is made in Kenya. Shiro says the local market is obsessed with foreign brands, something that must change for Africa's industrial revolution to become a reality. A lot of people believe we import our stuff. They say, no, we must come and see the factory. I'm like, no, you don't have to. You must believe we can do this. And then I also realized, again, it's not their fault. We're just not used to good quality stuff being made in Kenya. And that's why we're saying we must change the culture of that. One of Fun Kids' initiatives, Kids Go Tech, a learning program for children in practical science, was recognized by former U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama during a summit for female entrepreneurs last year. Maria Galang, CGTN.